we find ourselves deep in the northwestern rainforests, Nick, and this is a prime example of a Tasmanian blackwood. One of the biggest blackwoods anywhere on earth. Yes. This hardy, 95 centimetres in diameter, yes. which depending on what you want to use it for, is either very, very good or not so good because the blackwood is one of the state's most important commercial species. The Blackwood family extends as far up the east coast of Australia as Cairns, but it's in the southeast of the country, particularly in northwestern Tasmania, where some of the biggest Blackwoods on earth can be found. Where we are at the moment, we're in Riverine Rainforest. Uh, it also occurs as an understory species in Eucalypt Forest. And there's also extensive Blackwood swamps throughout northwestern Tasmania. Every year, each blackwood tree drops thousands of seeds, but for them to strike, a disturbance needs to occur. A fire, a flood, or something as small as a tiny animal burrowing its way to the surface is all that's required. Still, one of the other interesting things about blackwood is that it's got a few sort of germination tricks, this being one of them. Yeah, Nick, uh, there's little crayfish that, that live below the surface, yep. and as they bring the soil up with yep. them... Blackwood uh, seeds in there? Blackwood seeds will be in there, and as it warms up, they'll start to germinate. That's pretty good. And uh, and floods, I understand? Yeah, when the Arthur River comes up, uh, this area will flood again. Yep. Soil disturbance or, or when a tree blows over uh, with a root ball. Again, the soil disturbance. Tasmania's use for blackwood started shortly after European settlement. The timber itself is durable. These large blackwoods that stand straight are perfect saw logs. Feels like Britain Brothers in Smithton, turning them into a variety of different products, including floorboards and veneer. So, Sean? This timber, tell us the story of this. Well, the, the logs the logs that this timber came from came from our, our local Blackwood Swamp resource. Yep. Uh, that's the same resource that we've been logging now for about 100, 103 years. And um, we, the resource the forestry organised for harvesting out in the bush. And uh, we, we buy the logs at the mill gate. They get delivered on the truck, we unload them. Um, we, we cut them in our mill. We cut each log to, to maximise the value to cut the best sizes and most valuable pieces of timber out of each log. When it comes to growing blackwood, there are a couple of issues Forestry Tasmania face. It's easy to grow, but it's hard to grow well. Um, everything eats it, wallabies and uh, particularly wallabies um, eat it when it's young, but also we have trouble growing it tall and straight. Blackwood doesn't have very good apical dominance, which means it doesn't grow up nice and pointy like a pine tree or a eucalypt. Given a chance, it bushes out. So you need something to help it grow up tall and straight. And that means uh, competition from side light. That competition is from smaller shrubs such as paperbark or pomaderas, which cut off the sunlight around the young blackwoods, meaning they can't branch out from an early age. So after 80 years or so, you're left with tall, straight trees ready to be milled. Tasmanian blackwood is, is the cornerstone behind uh, our operation. It has been since the company was started 103 years ago uh, in the blackwood swamps just outside of Smithton. And uh, today it makes up probably about 40% of our production, but probably about 60, 50 to 60 percent of our turnover. And as for keeping the animals out that like to eat little blackwoods, it's simply a matter of building a fence. But we should remember that it's not just saw logs that everybody in the community are after. The old branched out blackwoods are perfect for creating some of the finer things in life. I inhabit a really sort of boutique part of the, the process of blackwood or, or forestry. And um, it's all about taking that extra care and looking for those particular pieces. Um, so I think there will always be timber available for me. And it's in boutique furniture makers workshops like this one, Nick, that Tassie Blackwood really comes into its own. It's grain, it's sort of colour and yes. it's durability yes. make it one of the most sought after timbers in the state. It's a really good general furniture timber. It'll cope with wear and tear really well. It's not as soft as a hewn pine, it's, but it's not as dense as a myrtle, but it's, it's in between and it's got that lovely warm tone of, of brown, um, which 
it's nice to live with. So whether it's fine furniture makers or larger Tasmanian sawmills, Blackwood is an integral part of forestry in the state. The new growing regime using fences to keep out game is being hugely successful, meaning there will be saw logs for decades to come. While island specialty timbers are training more and more logging contractors to bring in trees which craftsmen can turn into a work of art.